What's up guys? This is Andre and um, I've had difficulties at one stage where my scooter I was trying to put acceleration and it would bog when I say bog I mean like it's on and as you put accelerator it goes like bo 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 and it dies off it refuses to have any acceleration I will show you right now what is the problem and how you can fix it okay so first of all here's our carburetor now this is where you're getting technical you see in here goes a diaphragm and has a needle I don't have a needle but anyway I'll still explain it so the diaphragm goes inside there this is where your vacuum happens now you'll see it has these two holes on the side let me show you closely there's these two holes on the side those two is for fuel and the one in the set set uh center is where your needle goes so this is a vacuum vacuum holes for your fuel and air and um this allows just a little bit more air into your cob so yeah your needle goes here and down there it'll have something that ties it up just to hold the needle with a spring because that needle must be a little bit it must have play it mustn't be stiff because that thing this thing is going up and down as you press acceleration so here's your vacuum here's your diaphragm goes in this is the back of the cob I'm sure you can see it or oh, let me lift it up like that I'm sure you can see it going up and down so on this side you have a butterfly and your acceleration is here and your idle screw goes there and your immature screw goes there and uh, this is your auto choke that's your fuel inlet and um, you have your bowl here with your main jet idle jet and this this is to allow fuel into your auto choke and there's a little hole somewhere around here which I can't really show you because oh there's it there that is to allow fuel into your auto choke and um, this is where your flow bowl goes and it has a, a needle with a little rubber piece at the end to stop the fuel from coming in so it allows a certain amount of fuel and um, this is your um, anyway I forgot the name but what happens is this is to stop the engine from backfiring so it has a little white thing inside there which closes and opens closes and opens to allow the bike from not backfiring um, from what I know so um, and then here where these two holes are there's a little plate um, let's see if I have one here it goes there like that and um, your acceleration cable sits on here gets screwed on here and it runs down all the way to your acceleration so you have this where the cable goes in if you look carefully it sits there like that so you have an idle screw anyway so my whole point here was to show you why it is bogging so you have this little brass I call it a guide I've searched online what is it called they have no word or answer for it so I'm just calling it a needle guide so basically this and this is what co what's causing your bogging and um, I recommend take some um, 1200 and just sandpaper here because you want this to move smoothly and just sandpaper this a bit but you don't want to eat this away you don't want to eat that away you just want it just enough just so that it, it, it moves easy and um, you have this needle guide where your needle goes in and out of so um, what you do is 
Stony, stop it. So, um, what you do is, here's it, the needle guide. And if you look here, I'll show you, I'm pushing it in. Right there. If you look closely, you'll see there's a there. So your diaphragm goes in, and there's supposed to be a needle that, go, that goes into that um, needle guide. So what that thing is doing, when you press acceleration, the vacuum pushes this up, and as this is coming up, you must remember this guide is aligned with your main jet. So what happened is, when you push acceleration, the vacuum lifts the diaphragm up and lifts up the needle, allowing fuel into the engine. So when this happens, that needle and this guide allows a certain amount of fuel. So if you have too much fuel, not enough air, it's going to bog down. If you have too much air, not enough fuel, it's going to bog down. It's a fine line you've got to play with. It's a little bit frustrating and irritating, but when, when you got this right, I promise you, you won't have a problem again. Just don't over sandpaper the stuff. And I recommend the needle, just sandpaper the needle a bit and uh, take your needle guide out of your carburetor. And um, let me just have a look, see what I've got here. Um, I think I've got one here. Okay. So take your fine sandpaper. Make like a, a, a sharp um, object, I should say. And then you have this little hole. Get inside there and just sand it just a little bit. You don't want to over sand it, but you want to sand it just, just enough so that needle doesn't jam in there. I'm sure you can hear like a, a, a squeaky sound. That's because I'm using very fine sandpaper because you don't want to eat this. You just want to clean it and polish it inside with some 1200 just so you know make it smooth and you want to polish, polish that needle that goes on here. I recommend you keep it at because your needle has levels so from the bottom where the first uh, um, needle adjustment is I'll say one two three the third one put it on the third one and try it and just keep moving that up and down to how many um, spaces you can put on that um, needle until you find the one that's satisfying for you so I'm just gonna keep doing this just a little bit more you want, you want that inside nice and clean and then you'll do this side if you like which I don't you don't have to there's no there's no need I'm just doing it just to be extra cautious you know okay so he has a chair all nice and clean this is the guide so you take your guide put it back in there so you got your guide in there as you can see uh, sorry there's your guide in there I'm sure you can see that brass guide and um, here's your needle, your diaphragm with your needle, put it in, and then um, you'll have a spring. Anyway, these two springs are stuck together, it doesn't matter. So you'll have a spring that goes in there, and then you'll have your diaphragm cover that goes over. Or should I say cob cover or whatever so I recommend you take the spring and just stretch it just a little bit you don't want to stretch it too much these two are already stretched so I don't want to stretch them anymore but um, just stretch it just a little bit a little bit than what the usual size would have been just a little bit so that this thing can just go back quick 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 everything is working perfectly I guarantee you, when you do exactly what I told you to do, you will never have a bogging problem again. Thank you for watching and I hope it helps. Thanks.